You know, as a faithful Jew in the temple, Jesus would have been praying many different things. The scripture we hear about him reopening up Isaiah, but he also would have been praying the Psalms. They are the prayer book of Jesus, if you will. So when we read the Psalms, we're praying with Jesus to the Father. This Thanksgiving, I suggest reworking the whole blessing beforehand. Everyone can go around and say what you're thankful for, but why don't you try one of Jesus' prayer book prayers, the Psalms. So here are five ideas for your Thanksgiving grace. Number one, Psalm 34. This is the famous taste and see the goodness of the Lord. This one is gonna be so perfect because you'll have your turkey and your stuffing and everything. You'll be tasting and seeing the goodness of the Lord right before you. So pray that Psalm together with everybody at the table. Number two, read Psalm 50 verse 23. This is a good one because it's super short. If everyone's hungry and you got a big crowd, you gotta move it along. But it also talks about steadfastness. So it's a great time to acknowledge all the older people at the table and the way they've been steadfast to the family. Number three, Psalm 69, verses 33 through 37. This is good for a family that's had a tough year because it acknowledges that, but then finds God working even in the challenges. And in the line it says that we offer a song of praise. So if you're a musical group, why don't you do a This Little Light of Mine or something as part of your Thanksgiving grace, an amazing grace. Number four, Psalm 95, verses one through seven. This is great if you're an outdoorsy family because it talks about God's voice echoing on the mountains and the seas and in the depths. Ask everyone to think about the place that they most easily find God and give thanks for that. Number five, Psalm 100. This is actually one of my very favorites and I pray it actually every morning. And it talks about giving God thanks, the gladness of being in God's presence. And maybe it helps turn the people who are a little negative, maybe they'll be a little more positive at the Thanksgiving table. That's five ideas for this Thanksgiving grace. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching our videos and we hope you liked them. If you did, push the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and God bless.